online and digital technologies and looking at how we as humans interact with each other through these lenses. I've applied for the residency here in Drake specifically because of its community aspect of the art centre and particularly because of the location of the building with its front facing windows looking right onto the centre. It's great for people watching. I think primarily it's I grew up here. I've I've worked with Drake for about seven years now. They've been really, really helpful in the development of my career, my practice. I started off working here part-time as bar staff and I've sort of been involved in other things, classes and workshops and things. So it was a place where I felt comfortable to make work. It was a place where I felt the work would be appreciated. Also, I knew there were a lot of strong community links built in along different ages. So there were a lot of sort of classes and workshops for younger children, early years development, and older sort of third age groups and, and schools and things like that. So I knew coming in here, I knew there was immediately a support system in terms of linking in with several different areas of the local community. And that Blanchardstown has such a large population anyway. I thought it was the best place to sort of get the largest reach I was looking at um, this term that Charlie Brooker uses of um, the black mirror, which he uses to describe devices like your computers, screens, your laptops, your tablets, your phones, where they're like these black reflective mirrors upon which, into which we're able to look into the lives of others, in a sense. So I, I sort of, I've been looking at it as a sort of a, a two-pronged approach where it's simultaneously connecting us but also really isolating us. So the idea with these kind of domes is that they sort of exist as their own little microcosms and you know we're all sort of these little domes where we're, we're you know the whole universe is contained within us through our accessing being able to access like the vast wealth of the internet knowledge but they still exist as separate entities that aren't really connected and they shift and they change and you know, different configurations as they go, you know.